Well, you've probably already read it from the title and most likely the thumbnail, but today marks three years on YouTube for me. Which is kind of crazy, because it doesn't feel like it's been three years. God damn it. <laughs> three years already. Man, that is crazy. But yeah, we've come a long way from a channel that didn't have any following at all to almost half a million, which is absolutely fantastic. And I thank you guys for sticking around on this amazing journey. So today we're going to honor the uh, the start of YouTube by taming a Welly Rhino, because I, I don't even think the video is even still available to watch. I think it's unlisted now. I'm sorry. <laughs> the very first video I uploaded was like, I, I, I kind of figured like, oh yeah, the best way to, to get started would be to cover new content on Arc. So I went ahead and, and I made a video on the Willy Rhino because it had just come out like the same day. So I went ahead and made a video on that. And that was up and it, I mean, it didn't do well, obviously, because it's really hard to to immediately pull in views when you have no following and, and you don't know how things work correctly. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we made that video. And then last year we made a video on taming it as well. So I figured this year we might do the same. And it looks like it's, like getting foggy or something? I don't even understand. I don't even know how fog is still on. Maybe it somehow got re-enabled. I'm not sure. But anyway, so yeah, three years on YouTube. Guys, make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. And you know what? Let's, let's get a crap ton because it's a celebration episode. I'm not going to give like a number. Let's go for 10k. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, anyway, so first of all, let's just let's just quickly revisit some things here. So we've got a crap ton of gotcha crystals. I figured I might as well quickly open up a bunch of these let's drop everything into there and then grab all these crystals and let's come over to the grinder and we can crack them open so yeah i haven't i haven't actually shown off the gotcha to be honest i actually haven't recorded on this server in like a week i've been working on something else which you guys will see later later on this week um which is pretty cool i'm pretty excited to drop it but uh yeah, I haven't actually recorded on here in like a week. Although there has been videos because I was really far ahead on videos. Oh my god, that's a lot of stuff. All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and just drop everything crap in here. So some of this stuff is good, I know, but I don't need it. So yeah, uh, I don't need those. That's okay, but I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, we have better chest pieces. I'll keep that one. Get rid of that one and this one. Um, I'll keep that helmet. I'll get rid of these. Uh, obviously going to keep that metal. Eh, I don't know if I want these. I'm just gonna put a bunch of them in here. Oh, is that better than my current one? No. All right, you go in there, bam. Uh, I'm gonna put all the riot gear in there. We're probably gonna get like blueprints eventually, so I could just use some of the polymer that we get to craft that, because uh, none of those pieces are amazing. I mean, the helmet's pretty good, actually. I'll keep that. We're gonna get rid of all these swords and everything, and the pistols, and then the shotguns. All right, cool. I'm just going to go ahead and drop these in here, too, just so I don't have to deal with those right now. So, weapons, I'll just drop these in there, and then I accidentally took all the propellant as well, so I got to drop that back. Oh, my God. All right, it's the center one. Bam, we already have more crystals, but that's okay. So that is a little bit of a gotcha thing right there. <laughs> we haven't gotten any ascended crystals for some reason, which is weird, because I used to always get them. So maybe our gotchas just aren't that good. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, let's go ahead and try to tame ourselves a woolly rhino. Oh, you know what? I should probably show this off, because Cheese's people are probably waiting for this. Uh, cheese, <laughs> cheese pranked me with a bunch of signs here. What would Cheese do? Well, cheese wouldn't put this in my base. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to leave that there for the moment. There's another one down here. Uh, that's something there. That platform is something for soon, hopefully. Um, yeah, there's another one here. And then I think there's another one over at my wyvern trap. I think I saw it over there. Uh, so, yeah, let's head on over here. Oh, it's actually not that far away. I thought that was much further away. So, yeah, there's another one right there. You can see it. <laughs> oh, you know what? We're going to... I'm an idiot. We're going to need fur to go into the murder, the murder snow, if I could talk. Um... Ah, oh, crap. I do have my owl, so I'm probably not going to need soups or anything. So if I lose health, I could just heal myself using my owl. So that's amazing. Let's grab some fur, and then let's get to it. So, let me open up this thing here. Um, so yeah, I, I have a few things to talk about this episode. Uh, so, first of all, I thought I might address it, because I, I don't know how many times I have addressed this before, but I see it all the time. Like, so many people are so curious about this. 
And I'm going to disappoint you with the with the answer to what it what this question is, but um, I constantly get the question of like, oh, how did you come up with the name Syntax? Like, how how did that how you know how, what's the origin of that? Um, and I know people are going to be disappointed, but like literally, I just made it up like on the spot. I was just like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a, a name because you can't start YouTube without like a name. And I didn't want to use my real name, so I was like, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and, and just and just make up a name. So I sat there for just a few minutes, and I was like, well, for people who don't know, because uh, I don't think I've ever properly announced it on the channel, but I announced it on my Twitter like last year because my girlfriend was sick of, of calling me Syntac, because that's obviously not my real name. Um, I announced that my real name is actually Steven, with a PH. So, P-H-T-E-V-E, -E no, just kidding. Um, so yeah, that's my real name. Don't call me that, though, because to you, I'm Syntac, and I don't want to be Steven to you. I'm gonna be Syntac to you. <laughs> that's just how it is, okay? Deal with it. Uh, but yeah, so... Obviously, you know, that's that's my real name, so I was like, okay, well, I'll start off with an S then, and then I just went from there. Like, literally, like, it almost became Syntec, I think. That is a Palavia. <laughs> that is so obvious. Oh, man. All right, I'm going to get away from that. But yeah, it almost became Syntec, uh, so S-Y-N-T-E-C. Um, and then I didn't want to put an X at the end, like Syntex or Syntax or whatever, because I thought people would just constantly make the joke of it being an error, which still happens. Um, and your keyboards on your, like, phones and stuff constantly autocorrect my name to syntax. So, yeah, it, I don't think I can avoid that at all. Let's look for a high level. So, yeah, that's that's literally the origin of the name. It's nothing special. Uh, I know that's going to disappoint a lot of people, but, yeah, it, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I mean, it's it could have been, like, this amazing story, but it's it's really not. It's It's just like, hey... Oh my god, they're all 102 and 30. The hell's happening? <laughs> it's literally just like, hey, I need a name. All right, there's there's a name. Let's let's get going. That was it. Like I think it all happened in like a day. Cause I I had like a few channels, I guess, growing up. Cause like YouTube's been around since like since like 2005 or something. We got internet in my house in 2007 and a computer, which was amazing. Like, I know nowadays that just sounds like, whoa, you got, wait a minute, you got internet in your house? Like, when you were, like, 12 or 13? I was 12 in 2007. But yeah, <laughs> like, literally, like, we, we wouldn't have had it. Uh, and then we got a computer and everything, and then it was really fun. Like, I'd been around to my friend's houses who had, like, computers and stuff and, and internet and everything, so, um, like, realistically, I think of, like, that time as, like, the real boom of the internet for me. Um, so yeah, I made like channels at different times. Why are there manta? Okay, it's kind of volcano area. Never mind. Uh, so I had like channels and stuff throughout the years, and I'm not like they don't exist anymore. I had one where I like put up a bunch of videos of like my pets and stuff. I had turtles before, and I had videos of those, and uh, one of them actually had quite a few views. I had like 10k views or something, which was cool. But um, yeah, it doesn't exist anymore. Oh hey, there's more rhinos here. This one's stuck in the snow. And that, they're both terrible. We might have to tame a terrible rhino. This sucks. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and just heal really quick. So, I pretty much just made up the name. And, yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started on, um, on kind of like the milestones and how the channels went over the years. Oh my god, this is crazy. This is like Ice Age right here. Alright, let's have a look. So, uh... In, what is it, the end of June, well, okay, first of all, we started off in April 2016. By the end of June, we'd already gotten up to a 1,000 subscribers, which was great. Like, I, I had a really, like, good start. Like, it, I mean, it was slow for, like, a month and a half, and then I started to, oh, hey, I'm 180. Okay, we're going to tame that. <laughs> and then after that, I started to kind of, like, you know, put out stuff that I... I didn't just like half-ass things, I was just like, alright, well people will want to watch this, so I'm gonna put this video out, and I'm gonna make that video, and whatever. Uh, so I started to kind of understand a little bit, like, what it really takes to get views and everything like that, and, uh, I still, like, it took me a while after that to even fully understand it, but at that time I was starting to understand it, and I was starting to, to work on that. Oh my god, this thing's pooping everywhere. 
puking, I guess. So I, I had a really I had a really good start, basically. Uh, so by the end of June 2016, I'd already hit a thousand, which is really good. Like considering I just started, that was really really awesome. Um, we'll get into like a couple other reasons, like why I kind of started to figure out some things in a little bit. Like I did have some help, uh, some advice. So yeah, I'll get into that in a little bit. Let's get down here and tame up this rhino, though. So yeah, um, then by by like September, I would say when we when we hit 5k, but I don't really see the point because the day before we went, we were at 4k, then we were at 5k, and then like two days later we were at 6k. So I'll just say uh, mid September mid September we were at 8k, which was really crazy. Um, Scorch Earth came out at the very start of September. 2016 and that was fantastic for me like it wasn't as good as the other DLCs But I was such a small channel and it helped me out quite a lot Let's bring this guy away from all of those creatures. Maybe bring him over here So that helped me out quite a lot, which was really awesome um, ooh, Can we reload this please? Oh, no reload ah! <laughs> So yeah, uh, 8k by like by mid-September, which is really, really awesome. Uh, like, that's, what, like, just under six months, and I'm already almost at 10K. And speaking of 10K, we hit 10K at the end of October, which was great. I was, like, pretty happy with the growth there. Um, obviously, coming off Scorched, views aren't going to be as amazing because, like, all the new content's not there. But we were still uploading some pretty awesome things around there. So, obviously, the channel kept growing a little bit. Um, then by my birthday, which is the 23rd of November... Uh, we actually hit uh, 12k. I was sitting at McDonald's with my friend. Uh, it was like the morning. I think we had McDonald's breakfast. What what happened again? We like went over to like GameStop near where we live, and uh, picked up the brand new Pokemon game. Uh, it was like Sun and Moon. By the way, those games were terrible. Just saying, in my opinion. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, we picked up those games in that morning, and we were just sitting in McDonald's afterwards, like waiting for a bus home, and. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was kind of funny. I just hit 12k while we were sitting there, like, and I was eating, like, whatever. I can't even remember what I was eating. But, yeah, that was awesome. Um, so, 23rd November, which was my birthday, which was a really nice day to hit, a, like, a milestone like that. But then from there, that is when a massive boom happened on the channel. So, by the end of the year, so consider that's, like, about 37-ish days, 38 days, so almost 40 days, we had not only doubled our sub count, but doubled it plus 2k. So leaving the year, I was at, let me see if he'll just attack my thing. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> I kind of just, I don't want to keep like running around because this rifle never properly reloads. Um, so yeah, by the end of the year, we were at uh, 26k, which was really crazy. Uh, that was a huge growth in that month of uh, December. And that's when we started the season three of our vanilla series, which is why we had like the massive growth and everything. Let me just go ahead and do this. And then go over here, see if that helps at all. I don't think it does. This rifle can't reload properly sometimes. Let's see if it'll just attack my, my dude. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Snow Owl, help! No! He's too fast! Ugh, let me up! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. I hate rhinos. I love them. <laughs> that really hurt. Oh my god. I can't reload the rifle to get out of the shots quick enough. This sucks. Alright. So yeah, by the end of uh, 2016, going into 2017, we were at... Uh, 26k, which is crazy. Okay, so let's get to the next milestone. 100k, which was mid-May 2017, which was really awesome. Like, we had a drunken live stream as well, which is honestly, I, I kind of regret it a little bit because I got very rowdy. If anybody's seen that live stream, you'll know what I'm talking about. It was funny, but at the same time, I, I have not made that video public since. So, yeah, that's been hidden on the channel. I can put things as unlisted, so that means that they're, they're still up, but they're, um... Actually, I think that video is not on Enlist. I think it's on private. I think it might be. So yeah, that means it's still on the channel, but you just can't find it. Uh, only I can see it. Let's go ahead and reload this stupid rifle. I should have brought like a gate for a trap or something. I might actually pop some darts into my other rifle so I can two-shot it. 
So let's get that rifle reloaded. Uh, so 100k by May 2017. Super awesome. Really fun 8 hour drunken live stream. Why didn't that dart hit? That was weird. Um, super fun, but like definitely very rowdy and everything. It was kind of, <laughs> I don't know. I kind of don't want to do that again. Specifically because I puked on my desk and my keyboard. Uh, when I like, I like pretty much like just fell asleep at my desk after I ended it. Um, it was kind of funny. So yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and just sit over here and reload these guys again. Uh, then by by the end of the year, uh, pretty much like December, I think it was like mid December, we hit 200k, which was awesome. So like in about six months or so, what, seven months there, we had doubled our sub count, which was like. It's just, it's pretty good like doing stuff like that is it's crazy like it like it takes so long to get up to 100k and then you just double it in like seven months it was really crazy to think um but yeah it was super awesome so that was during like aberration had just come out and i was on the verge of 200k anyway uh he's running finally all right let's chase him down so yeah i was on the verge of 200k anyway so like i knew i was gonna hit it and then aberration was out and we were doing videos of course and like you guys remember obviously um so yeah 200k around there was awesome um then by uh july of last year 2018 um i think it was the first of july we hit we hit uh 300k which was super crazy <laughs> like 300k already oh man let me just kill this guy got him we gotta chase down this rhino a little bit as well is this him here Nope. Where's our rhino? Is it this one? Yeah. All right. Let's stand up here, actually. This could be good. We just stand right here. They might not be able to get to me. Um, then, obviously, we hit uh, 400k just in uh, November, just last year, 2018, which was amazing. That was during Extinction, which uh, really helped out. We like we grew like by like 40k subs around then, which is just crazy. So yeah, just like the lifetime of the channel, I know that took me so long to get out, but I'm trying to focus on actually, you know, not standing around here and actually maybe just taming something. <laughs> Alright, now he's mate boosted, that makes it more difficult. I missed with that second dart. Alright. Ow. How the hell did you hit me? And he's dead. Okay, we need to chase him down again. Alrighty, I think he stopped. Let's go ahead and reload these rifles and get a double shot off. So yeah, that's uh, that's the kind of lifetime uh, milestones of the channel. I know some of them like probably could be included, like 250k and all that stuff, but yeah, let's we're just gonna ignore those ones for now. <laughs> I think we somehow hit my my guy there because I didn't get like a number pop up there. That was weird. How are we not hitting? Some of these starts, I feel like they should be hitting, but they're just not. Okay, well that somehow missed. <laughs> oh, I hit the... I can see it on the ground. Never mind. So, um, yeah, let's get into some of the other stuff. So, starting off on YouTube, uh, obviously for anybody who's starting off nowadays, it's going to be way more difficult. Like, I always get this question of like, oh, how do you start off? Like, can you help me start up my channel? And my main piece of advice to you is just like, because of the new changes, like, you don't start, like, it shouldn't be a drive, but it, I do know that it's a drive for a lot of people, even people who are just starting, but money, uh, you don't earn money on YouTube now until you've hit, uh, I think you have to hit a thousand subscribers and then a certain amount of watch time, which is essentially the minutes that people are watching. I think it's like 4,000 or something like that. 4,000 hours, I do believe. So whatever that is in minutes. So, yeah, like, a lot of people will start up thinking, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to start, like, earning a little bit of money and I'll be able to continue this. But, like, no, not nowadays. Like, they changed that, like, two years ago. Um, that wasn't like that when I started, but I can tell you that you really don't start making money anyway until you get to around that stage. So, so that shouldn't be something that really motivates you. Money should never motivate you on this platform. And I think if it does, I think if that's why you've started up your channel, then you need to just not, you need to just not, like attempt it because you're not gonna make it if that's your motivation um and that's an honest piece of advice there like i know 
so many people who have just quit because they're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not like, uh, I'm not able to earn money anymore on here, you know, like, it's, it's like, well, dude, you're not earning anything anyway, like, you don't actually really earn money until you get to a certain stage, you know, you have to actually put in the effort at everything, um, and I saw so many people leave to Twitch when that change came in, because they're like, well, I can't earn here, and it's like, well, clearly that was your motivation then, um, so yeah, I, I would say if you're starting up Never let that be a motivation. Never let that be a reason why you are starting. Um, and then a couple other things that I would definitely recommend is, like, if you have somebody who's, like, a large creator, like, if you're friends with them, like, oftentimes I'll get messages and people are looking for advice. And really, like, I, I have a couple things that I can say, but I can't, like, sit there and, you know, teach them through everything. They're going to need to, you know, learn to fly themselves a little bit. But my little piece of advice is always... Uh, stay relevant, stay consistent. Uh, when I say stay relevant, I don't mean your channel, I mean your content, like whatever you're playing. Like, don't start playing a bunch of really old games because most of the time people don't want to see that. If you play some new games and cover new updates on those games, you'll start to gain, like, some followers because people are looking for that type of stuff. So, yeah, stay relevant, t stay consistent, and then, like, Obviously, like, you know, don't try to emulate somebody else's content. Don't try to be somebody else because people see right through that. Like, it will never work for you. If you try to just adopt somebody else's personality, eventually it's going to pop out that that's not who you are. <laughs> and people are going to hate you for it. So, yeah, try to just be yourself. And most of the time, you know, it could work or it just might not work at all. And if it doesn't work, then it sucks. But, like, you can't force it, you know. It's really, it's not the type of thing that you can just force to, to work, YouTube. Um, so just, you know, stick with what you like, uh, but try to be a little bit consistent and everything like that. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, well, you know, there's other paths that you can go down as well. Um, so yeah, but definite piece of advice that I would give to anybody who is starting is like, take advice from anybody who's larger than you any like go you know if you can if you do happen to talk to anybody like ask them questions you know and you'll know what the questions are if you're if you're doing this and you're struggling you'll know what the questions are i don't need to like kind of coach you into knowing what you should be asking and, and what you should be figuring out but if you have somebody like that around you definitely take their advice like don't just ignore them uh even if it seems like something that you don't want to completely do like if they have a large following, then they clearly know what they're doing, um, most of the time anyway. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I definitely, like, I see too many people just ignoring the advice of people who know what they're doing, and, like, when you ignore that advice, like, you're basically telling that person, like, hey, like, I don't kind of agree with what you're saying, and then that person will be like, well, maybe I, you know, like, I probably won't bother helping this person anymore. And then when you go to look for help, they probably don't want to help you. So if somebody's ever going out of their way to give you advice, then take it. Take it and and do really whatever they're saying. Unless it, you disagree with it morally or whatever, then you should be taking the advice. Uh, another thing I definitely want to warn people off is uh, avoid snakes. Uh, I've had to deal with several of these throughout my years. Um, and these are types of people who will essentially like they'll act like your friend to you um and you know you'll think that you're like friends and all that and you'll think that like you know they I like I don't really care if people completely love me or, or kind of like <clears throat> I'm losing my voice it's the morning <laughs> I don't really care if people kind of like like love me or just you know like they just stand me or whatever but if they're my friend then I'm going to assume that they're not going to, like, go around shit-talking me. People do that. People do that a lot. That's what I would really call, like, a snake. Somebody who will act like your friend and then shit-talk you around every single corner they can walk around. Um, and if you ever find out about somebody like this in your circle, just completely disown them. Get them out of there. Don't ever try to let them back in because they'll keep doing it. And if they've been doing it, like, and then you find out, then you got to also think about, like, how long have they been doing this? Um, so I would definitely watch out for people like that. And I've had to deal with a few of them. It's not a nice situation, especially when you're like, wow, like, I never would have expected this person to do something like that. And then you're like, okay, well, 
goodbye forever, I suppose. <laughs> like, it's, oh, uh, it's kind of, I don't know. It's not, it's not a nice feeling just being like to somebody, yeah, like, fuck off, essentially. Like, language, I know, but still. Like, relevant in, in this type of conversation. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely just cut those types of people out. And like, they, there's never an excuse for somebody doing that, unless you've had an argument. Like, if they have a reason to, to do it, then that makes more sense. But if they're acting like your friend, and then they do this type of thing, then cut them out, and don't ever let them back in, because it's never worth it. It is 100% never worth it. That is a polar bear. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that is, that's something I definitely... I definitely would recommend to anybody. Uh, I don't know how long this uh, this guy's gonna take to tame. It's probably gonna be a little bit. We're gonna have to take a cut at one point. But um, one thing that I do have to say is that I mentioned earlier how I did get advice, and uh, I was pretty lucky early on. Like, I think about a week into doing YouTube and everything, I already gotten into like a little group of people, and most of those people aren't around anymore, but some of them are, and like those guys are good friends, but. Uh, after about a week or so of uh, of doing YouTube, I'd already I had met Anthomia, who most most people will probably know. Like we've done a bunch of things with him on here on the channel and everything. And uh, I think if you play Ark or any games like it, you'll probably know who he is. He's a really good guy. Uh, I got a lot of advice from him. He was at like I think maybe three, four k, maybe five k when I met him, uh, and that was like during a big boom on his channel. I think he, by the time I got to a thousand, he was already at like forty thousand or something, which was just crazy. But uh, I got a, a decent amount of advice from him at the very start, which was really useful. So like when I say take advice from people, I like I took advice from him and it worked out and it was really good. Like some of it didn't work out just as good, but like at the same time, like he's figuring out things at the same time as I'm figuring out things, and it just came to the point eventually when we were both at the stage where we had pretty large channels and we were both kind of like advising each other like constantly like we talk all the time um so like find somebody like that if you can it's kind of difficult to just find somebody like that but like if you're taking advice from them then they'll know that you know like you respect what they say and everything like that so it's it's quite useful to have somebody like that around and like i've had a bunch of friends as well like who have had like very large channels, but I'd say I'd probably taken the most advice out of him, um, off of him, not out of him. That's weird. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that really helped me out early on and uh, throughout the years, obviously as well. Um, but yeah, any more advice I can really think of? Avoid MCNs if you're a low kind of sub count channel. If you're a small channel, you do not need to be in an MCN uh, at all. <laughs> Like, I'm in one right now, but I have a really, really, really good deal. The type of deal that, you know, a lot of people wouldn't actually get. Um, so an MCN is like a network. Most people probably know. They usually will ask for you for like 20 to 30% of your of your uh, your revenue on your channel. And I would say never go more than 5%. And if they don't want to give you more than 5%, um, or if they don't want to give you like 5%, uh, like down to 5%, whatever. I'm getting really confused. Okay, if they don't want to give you 95% is what I really meant to say. 95% um, of your things, and then they get five. Uh, if they don't want to go like that, then don't even bother, it's not worth it. Um, I'm on a better version of that uh, with a network called uh, Talency, which they're pretty good, they're really good to me, they're very useful, um, but most people I, I see, they're just like, edging to get into a network and then they're like a year later they're like why did I do that like they're just taking my money and they're not doing anything for me and that's most networks right now some of them are even being shut down because they're clearly just scamming people out of their money so I would recommend just don't get into one unless you seriously seriously need some like legal help and everything because for me they're just a safety net they also give me like art and stuff if I ever ask for it and like different kind of animations and stuff and they help me out with like a PC brand deal but that's about it like I would say there's no other reason why you'd need to be in one so don't rush yourself into a network so many people have done that and then you can't get out and then you realize like you've just screwed yourself over so yeah um don't go into an MCN <laughs> we'll be back in a bit I'm gonna wait for this thing to fully tame
Okay, so we're coming back to base. We've got the rhino and a cryopod. Never made a saddle before we left, so we got to do that. Um, actually, I do have one more thing to say, and I realized it like a minute ago. This this is this is kind of a piece of advice that will probably slightly upset some people, um, but this is advice that I got early on, and I didn't quite understand it for a long time, and then eventually I started to understand it, but. A really, a really good piece of advice is that you need to understand eventually. Let's see, is it called Rhino? There we go. You need to understand that if your channel is doing good, you got to look around you and you've got to understand that not everybody around you is going to, quote, make it. I Like, whatever make it means. Like, it could mean, you know, continue to do it for, like, this many years, whatever. It could mean, you know... I guess have success or whatever so that's that's one thing I would recommend like just understand that not everybody that you play with not everybody around you is going to make it um, and that's something that I was told like within my first few months when I started to really good I was told that and I was like that's that sucks like I don't I want them to make it I want to help them make it um, but yeah it, it's something that you really need to actually accept and I've accepted it, like, you know, I've had a bunch of people who I played with, like, a ton come and go, and it's, it's, it's a little bit, like, disappointing when, you know, you have success but your friends don't have it. Um, it's really disappointing, like, it's really, it's not a good feeling. Um, but yeah, it's something that you need to accept. So, that's one last piece of advice there. <laughs> so... I don't know if any of this is going to be useful to anybody, but I'm just, yeah, I'm just, I'm just talking. <laughs> oh, there's a wyvern over there. I'm going to bring him over to my trap. So yeah, this is the Wally Rhino, super awesome creature. <laughs> oh man, let's go ahead and kill the sheep. Oh man, that is a crazy amount of damage. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and just regen some stam here, and then we got to get that wyvern over to this trap here. That is a 102 fire. Okay. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, I swear. I need to take a drink. Uh, so my turrets are up right now. How much ammo is in them? Where does it say? Oh, okay, so there's still a decent amount in each of them. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I filled them up a crap ton at one point. Alright, let's bring this river over then. Is this somebody's pteranodon? Okay. I was about to say, that thing looks tamed. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go ahead and, and get this guy. keeps moving okay here we go is he coming I don't know if that's gonna hit probably not ah. <laughs> all right let's bring him to my turrets is he coming there he is I think he's behind it Oh, he's attacking a trike. Ah, yeah, there we go. They're getting him. <laughs> okay. Come on. Take him down. Gotta keep this area safe. Ah! The hell? Why are they so quiet? Oh my god. Ah! Alright. The thing's dead. Come on, Wyvern. Get over here. Let's run through here. Hey, we got him. Oh my god, the sheep's on fire. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. Alright, well, I think that's good. <laughs> Is my Wyvern bait still alive in here? I gotta check. I gotta make sure. Yeah, he's still okay. Alright, I wonder if all this still works. Because one day I came on and for some reason the turrets were not pin-coded anymore. So I gotta just double check that this is working. Oh man. Alrighty. Well, you know what? That is, uh... That's pretty much all I have to say today. Oh, it's unpowered. Oh. How are the turrets still powered? What? How are the turrets still powered if that's not powered? Did they make a change or something? Alright, I gotta actually add in some uh, thing here, apparently. 
two, 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 two. It closes the gates, right? Let me just double check. Yeah, that's still working. All right, cool. How the hell are the turrets working, though? That doesn't make any sense. I don't even understand. There's no power over here. <laughs> are they, like, solar, solar paneled now or something? I don't even understand. All right, whatever. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have to say, really, today. Uh, we have a rhino. I don't know if he's going to be useful at all. We're just going to keep him. Um, let's go ahead and name him. Let's name him the... Uh, the date... Oh, my God, I'm, I have caps on. The date that we started. So... What would it be? What was it about the 4th of April? So 04, oh no, it was the 3rd of April. <laughs> 03, 04, 16. That's how we do our date over here. I don't know why people put the month first. That just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I don't know why. Why do Americans do that? Why does it have to be different? <laughs> to me, like, this is such an argument. To me, I don't understand. Why would you put the month first? Like, surely it should go day, month, year, because it's like smallest, Medium, biggest. No? <laughs> what the hell is that? Is that a gotcha crystal? I don't even understand. How the hell did you get here? I don't, how did that get down here? All right, whatever. He pooped it out and it flew off the mountain. Anyway, yeah, um, we have our amazing rhino and I've done probably enough talking. I don't know if any of this is honestly gonna be useful at all, but I hope you guys did enjoy it either way. Um, kind of went off on a couple tangents, but whatever. <laughs> Uh, anyway, if you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And uh, that is another year, guys. Absolutely crazy. Uh, what are we going to be at next year?